Me too. Oh, I can't wait. Actually, the game I want to get right now is uh, Bioshock. I want to get the new collection. I had Bioshock for my Xbox a long time ago, but I want to get the new, the new one for the PS4. Alex, you and me are riding together tonight. Oh, really? In a row. Yeah. I'm You're riding an hour. You're going to be my vice president. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Alright. So, uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to cover uh, something we discussed yesterday. Um, now, we did have homework to do today. That was uh, your worksheet 2.4. Uh, some people have already turned it in. Let me, uh, throw it out here. People have already turned it in. Cole, Jason, Alex, you guys already had uh, uh, worksheet 2.4 turned in. That was the one on sequences. So, tomorrow we'll probably get homework on this section. We're not going to get any homework today. I want tonight's evening work day. We're just, kind of, we're just going to do a couple notes today. Um, and today is about creating numbers. So, a lot of this stuff today will be like you actually creating a number that works for certain categories. So, I'm going to try to get ones that work, and you guys can create your own numbers today. So, here's what we're doing we're on section 2 6 today, 2.6. And we're doing the visibility test. Now we've done this topic before. Uh, now if you were here yesterday, which we definitely discussed it, but I want to make sure that we know. Now the visibility test is, is your number divisible by, and we had a list, by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5. We had easy numbers, those ones we definitely discussed yesterday. We'll go then we went on, we would talk about is it divisible by 6, 9, 10, and the number 11 is the one we need to focus on today. We did not discuss that one yesterday. But I want to do a quick example of each type. But then we're going to start creating numbers today. Numbers that work for certain categories. And we're going to see how we can mix these together. Okay? Does that make sense? So let's go through the rules here. Okay? For the rule for number 2. In fact, I'm going to put these rules over there so I can leave them on the board. So, visibility test. <coughs> so, for the number two, if you know a number is divisible by two, what has to happen? They're all going to be even. Okay, good. Yes. That was the number one thing. Had to be an even number, right? That means that your digit has to end with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. That's basically the, the easiest way of explaining an even number. So that's to end with. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Create an even number right now. Think about 26. it. 26. 26. Boom. 26. It's divisible by 2. Guaranteed. You. If you divide this thing by 2, you'll get a nice perfect whole number. Okay? Because put the 2 on the, in, on the outside. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 times 1 is 2, track, you get the number 0, bring down the next number is 6, 2 goes into 6 3 times, perfectly, and you get a remainder of 0. Does that make sense? You get a remainder of 0, that means it's divisible by that number. Okay, it didn't have any weird decimals or, or, or any remainders. Okay, that's, that's by the number 2. Now, by the number 3, What was the rule for three? Okay, it has to be multiple of three, right? The trick was you sum, means to add, you sum all digits together. You sum all digits together, and that number has to be a multiple of three. Now, how we did this yesterday, I had yesterday that I wanted you to have your multiplication chart out in front of you. I still want that. Jason, hold that up so I'm going to see it. That's what I want. I want that out in front of you right now if you have it. Because that will help you for the multiple of three. So I'm going to create a number that is definitely, when you add them together, you'll get a multiple of three. Uh, let's go three, five, four, zero, 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 two, one. It's a huge number, 35 million. This number is divisible by 3. How I know that? I'm going to add these up. Okay, so I'm going to add up all the digits. 3 plus 5 plus 4, and don't worry about the zeros, plus 2 plus 1. Right? I'm adding up all the, the actual digits. Because that is zero. Right? This makes 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That makes 12 plus 2 plus 1. That makes 14 plus 1, which is 15. It's 
15 a multiple of 3. Yep. Yeah, it's on that chart. So if you, the way that I said that chart, can I ask you that? Okay. okay, so on that chart, how, how you know this, okay, is you look at where number 3 is and you go straight across. If your number, when you add all these digits up, it's, if it's in the row with a 3, that means it's divisible by 3. That's how it works when you add up all digits. So this number does work. So if I put a three on the outside of the house, it should work out to be a nice, perfect whole number. So there's a three out here, three given the three once. That's a three, so the zero down. Uh, when I subtract, three down the five, three goes into that once. That's a three, you bring down a two, bring down the next number, which is a four. Three goes into 24 eight times. Three times eight is 24 exactly, you get a zero. Three down the next number, three goes into that zero times. Bring down the next number, three goes into that zero times. Bring down the next number, three goes into that zero times. And now the two. All three goes into that zero times. And you bring down the one. Three goes into 21, seven times. So. Okay, any questions with that? Obviously, I would never. Number four. This is really like number two. Kind of like number two. It's definitely that's definitely uh that's definitely uh true. It's gotta be an even number. So it's common sense cell like that. So it's gonna end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. But there's one other rule. But this is uh has to be the uh, yep. multiple of Exactly. Last two digits are a multiple of four. So, if you look at your multiplication chart, so in fact, I'm going to use this again. Okay. So, if you use your multiplication chart, and you look at the row with the 4, so I'm going to use Alex, pick any number in this row of 4. 44. So, if I make up any number and I end with 44, because that was on the, that multiple of 4s, so I can make up any number. And I just make sure a 44 is at the end, it's divisible by 4. So it can be any number, as long as it, that number is a multiple of four. Okay? All right. Any questions? All right. Now, the number five is the easiest number in the world. It has to be a zero or five at the end. Your number has to end with zero or five. So like, that's the easiest rule. I don't even need to make up the number. You guys know that. Five or zero. <coughs> okay, now, six. The number six. It has to be divisible by two and three. By two and three. That means it has to have both of these rules. So it has to end with an even, and when you add them up, it has to be on that. It has to be on that chart where it's, it's in a row with the three. Okay, so pick any of these five numbers right now. Eight. Eight. And end with an eight. And all I have to do is put numbers in front of it and make sure that they have to be a number that's in the row with the, eight, with the three. So threes are three, six, nine, twelve, whatever. Right. I'll I'll try to make this number a nine. There. Say this is my number. When you add up the digits, what do you get? Nine. Nine. That's a multiple of three. This number is divisible by three. That's how it works. Make sense? Okay. So that's the number six. It's the easiest rule. I always start with the back number and then work my way forward. That way I, I, I guarantee it's going to end with me. Okay. All right. Uh, what are we on next? We're on to nine. Nine is easy. Number nine. It's almost the same rule as Sum all the digits together. Sum all the digits together. And if you sum all the digits together, it has to be a multiple of 9. It has to be a multiple of 9. So whatever you add up in numbers, if you look at that row with the 9s in your multiplication chart, it's like 9, 
18, 27, 36, 45. It has to be one of those out of all the digits. I have never seen a number out of 345. I have Unless there's a ton of nines and eights in it, I guess. But usually the numbers are small, but they're usually less than like 27 when you add them all up, all the digits, the separate digits together. All right. Next, 10. 10 is one of the easiest numbers. The last number has to end with a zero. End with a zero. Easiest number in the world. Has to be even. Has to end with a zero. Eleven is the goofy rule. This is the rule that I did not get to yesterday. Eleven is the rule you have to remember. Uh, it's just too hard to write it down. So the rule is um, that when you add up every other digit, they have to be the same as the numbers you skipped over. So like for instance, somebody, um, give me just one number, please. Four. Four, okay? I'm gonna make this a three digit number, right? So all I need to make sure, since you guys picked the middle number, right, four, all I need to make sure of is that these two numbers add to make four. That's all I gotta make sure of. So what's my combination I can do? I can do two and two, that works. I can do three and one, or one and three. I could do um, four and zero, or zero and four. Four and four. So, yeah, four and four is literally a multiple of 11, right? If that makes sense. Do you see how that works? Like, you just got whatever numbers you skip. Now, if it's a four digit number, so let's say I put five and a six here, and it's a four digit number. Now, all I have to make sure is that these add make, uh, make the 11, make the five and the six add the other. That's all I gotta make sure. So maybe I go seven and four. Because those will add and make 11, these add and make 11, so it does work, right? Or I could do it. I could do it like this. Uh, maybe this is a seven, so that makes 13, right? So now I could go nine and four, because now these will add and make 13, these add and make 13, so they're the same digit. Does that make sense? It's every other number, or they can differ by 11. So what I mean by that, you do the same rule, you add every other number but your final answer differs by 11. So here, it's gonna be like this. This is what I mean. Six, one, six. Okay, this is the number one, right? The, the other two numbers I skipped made 12. Agreed? When I had six and six. These two, the gaps here, they're not the same number, agreed? It's not like the 13 and 13 like I did the last term, or the the, I think the first number we did was four and four. But these numbers literally differ by 11. So it still works. 11 still goes into 616. In fact, to prove that, that 11 still goes into it, I'll actually show that. Uh, 11 goes into this five times, it's 55. You get, if I subtract, you get six out. You bring the next number down. 11 goes into 66, six times exactly. And yes, you can the remainder of zero. It just works. They have to differ by 11. All right, so now, you guys have seen all the rules now. Now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you guys create numbers today. But not just any numbers, numbers that fit my parameters. So I'm going to give you four, four challenges here. I would like you to create a number. That is, so this is your first, this is your first problem. This is your first number you have to create. I want you to create a number that is divisible by two, three, five, and six. Two, three, five, and six. That's what I want you to do right now. Create a number that goes into this. So you've got to follow the rules. So your number has to, if I follow the rules, your number has to end with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It has to sum all together to be a multiple of 3. Um, it has to, um, the last two digits, or sorry, the, the last digit has to be 0 or 5, which in your case you kind of know what it has to be. And it has to be divisible by 2 and 3 to be a 6. Okay, I'd like you to create a number. See if you can do it. If you need a calculator, I'll have them over here. I want to see if you 
you guys were paying attention today, and if you can do this. So, I want to hear one person's number. So I'm going to start over there. Cole, what do you got? Three. Say it again? Thirty. Thirty. Alright, let's, let's check all the rules. Does it end with a zero, two, four, six, or eight? Yeah. Boom. So you check that out. Okay. When you add the numbers together, three and zero, did it make a multiple of three? Check. Five, did it end with a zero or five? Yes. Six, is it a multiple of two and three? We'll check, check. Yes. Ten, did it end with a zero? Check. That's good. That's how it works. In fact, it's it's probably one of the smallest numbers you could have picked, which is actually really good. It's the first number that definitely had all of them. Okay, that's what I do. You make up a number and you just make sure you you check these boxes off. Obviously, the first thing you need to make sure of is basically these three, because they basically have all the same rules. It has to be even and with a zero. That's it. And then you just got to make sure that all the rules for three. Okay, that's just how it works. Okay, and I'll also have a different number other than 30. Okay, we're going to go to lunch. We'll come back. We'll try it out. Sorry, I got caught on the Zoom meeting. <laughs> so, we're just worrying about the disability test. It's, it's part of the pattern I guess, that we're working with. So uh, Today they're creating their own numbers. So you review the rules one more time, and now they have to create number that fits all the numbers. Okay. So it's reverse engineering my work.
here's what I want you to do. I want you to create a number that is divisible by, so this is your second time now, second chance now. I want it to be divisible by 2, 4, and 11. 2, 4, and 11. So create your number. I'm going to call on somebody randomly this time, so you all have to have one. It'll be a random person in this room. You have to be creative. 2, 4, and 11. You're real creative about this. We'll get to the harder ones here in a second. So that'll be pretty easy. Mm. Alright, Okay, so somebody randomly, I'm going to go with Sean. I got 44. Yeah, four. That's probably the easiest one. It is the smallest number you could have chose. Okay, let's check off the rules. Does it end with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? Boom, that was good. Does it, is the last two digits a multiple of 4? Yes, it is, because if you look at your multiplication chart, 44 is on there, so boom. 11, do the first and last number equal? Yes, because that's every other number, right? So four and four, they're both equal numbers. Boom, all three. That was the smallest number you could have created. Okay, that's good. All right, so, so far so easy, right? So far so good. Um, these are very, very nice numbers. Easy. Now, more stipulations. Okay, here we go. Third number. Would 122 work? 122? Uh, 22 is not divisible by four. And it's not by 11. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're on to the third number here. I want it divisible by 2, 5, 9. Actually, 2, 5. Actually, 2, 3, 5, 9. And I want it as a four digit number. Four digits long. Now we got stipulations. Four digit number. And again, I'll be calling this me randomly for this one. Give me a little bit of time to think about this one. This one's going to take a little bit longer.
I'll give you some more time. You have plenty of time. So remember, it's got to be divisible by 2, 3, 5, and 9, but it has to be a 4 digit number. Jason, I'm going to call on you this time. Okay. You have a number. 6,570. Okay. 6,570. Okay. So, let's double check. Um, is it divisible by 2? Yes. Automatically. Boom. Because you picked the number that ended with a 0. That was good. 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Is it divisible by 3? So we're going to add these numbers up. 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 0. So when we add this up, this makes 11 plus 7 plus 0. Uh, this makes 18 plus 0. And then add that as 18. So good. So it is divisible by 3 because 18 is divisible by 3. Uh, by 5, did it end with a 0? Yes, it did. Or a 5, so we're good there. And 9, is this number divisible by 9? Mm -hmm. Yes. Boom. Now, I left one number up. What is it also divisible by? Five. Wait. What does it have to be divisible by? Ten. ten. So it had to be by ten. Okay. And six. Because six, it was divisible by two and three. And by ten, because it ended with a zero. So there is number. So there's stipulations. If two and three both go into it, six better be in here. And then ten better be in there, because two and five were in it. Those are like little rules you need to read on. Okay? So, but this most definitely works. It's a four-digit number, and it works in all cases. Okay. All right. Any questions, comments, concerns so far? All right. Good. Now it comes to the one. Okay. This has to be divisible by. It has to be divisible by three nine. 11, and it has to be a 7 digit number. So this is your fourth one. The fifth one is way harder. And we have one more after this. One more. I'm going to do five individual numbers.
I think we got it. Divisible by 3, 36 is on the list for 3's, it's divisible by 9, 9 goes into 36, 
And 11 now. So let's check our rules for 11. Every other number. Okay, so every other number. So, uh, so that's the 3, the 2, the 5, the 7. Let's add those up. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17. All right, there are 17 for the arrows. The ones I skipped, that's 11, um, plus 8, ooh, that's 19. <laughs> no. And yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, in fact, if we would have just, because I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make this number because you fit most of the rules. Okay. Um, all we really need to do is just move one digit from here, This the ones we skipped. Let's move one digit from here to here. So instead of a 8, let's make this 7, and let's move this up 1. So this now becomes a 7, and this becomes a 6. Now it works. Because now, when you add up every other number, that makes, what, 18? Is it still 8 plus 7 is 6? And it should, because all I did was pick one from one and put one on the other. Uh, so. You can, you can mix and modify. That should be 18. 5 plus 6 is, is 11 plus 7, yes. And it still works out to be, that's 10, 22, um, 29, 36, yes, it still works. So, okay, do you see how that works? Seven digit number, and it was divisible by those three numbers. Now, is it divisible by 2? No. Is it divisible by 5? No. Is it divisible by 10? No. Is it divisible by 6? Definitely not, because 2 didn't go into it. Is it divisible by 4? No, because 2 didn't go into it. So like these are like little rules we can create. All right, that was good. That was a good way to like modify it. Last number today. Last number, and I don't know if we'll have time. You need to create a number that is divisible by all of them. All right. Let's see if you can create a number that's divisible by every single number we have on the board. And this is my last one today. This is not. I didn't say. It's going to be as long as you want. It can be as short as you want. It can be small. It can be small. It can be big. I think I might make it like really easy. But it's got to work. Talk about tomorrow. Come in ready to work tomorrow.